Shane and, and Panay kind of had some individual. Yeah, there. yeah, there are definitely a, a lot of individual highlights as far as um, as far as you know good blocks go. Um, but you know, a game like that when you you know do do pretty well as a unit, but you still don't get it done at the end, it's kind of it's kind of bittersweet. So. How rewarding is it though, personally, Jake? Where they're big three, we thought about how much stress they're going to put on you, and they don't have any disruptive plays from the big three. I know they they did as a team, but right. I mean, you're trying to contain three potential All-Americans, and you did that. Yeah. You as a unit, but you personally had to identify them all the time. Is that? particularly rewarding at this point. Yeah, yeah, I mean it definitely feels good to go in there with a the mission of, you know, stopping um, you know, stopping um, just, you know, big plays up front and just going toe to toe with, you know, some of the best D linemen in the country. So um, we went in there with a the mission to, you know, match them physically and, you know, kind of take them to the place where they haven't been before. So um, from that aspect it was yeah, it was good. What kind of experience is it to have that all happen in, in week one two, knowing that that very well could be the toughest front that you're going to see all season potentially and it happens right in that first week. I mean, is there a relieving aspect too? Would you like to see him again? I mean, how does that kind of feel with you? Um, I mean, it was definitely good to see a really talented front week one and, you know, to do fairly well against them from a physical standpoint. Um, you know, I think we, we kind of knew going in there that we had we had the tools physically to do that. Um, but, you know, to do it um, and have the you know, rest of the season in front of us, uh, we, feel, we feel good about where we're headed. How cool was it to see Spencer walk with his first touchdown? That was cool. Um, yeah, when I saw the saw the ball go up there, um, and I saw Spencer come down, but I was pretty shocked because I you know, didn't expect Spencer Webb to make a big play like that, honestly. But um, you know, really happy that um, he was able to go out there and have a big moment like that. What's he like off the field? a goofy kid. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know Spencer very well, obviously, mm -hmm. but from what I see on the field, he's just a, just a good, you know, lighthearted kid, likes to have fun, likes to you know, go out there and just enjoys the game. During the game, Vic, how hard is it where, when I mean, you guys are focused on your job, you've got a tall enough order with a 330-pound unit, probably. but when there is either a drop or a missed field goal or a fumble and stuff, where it's out of your guys' control, you can't do it, but is it tough as a unit where the op you're trying to lead the way to the end zone, you're getting down there and something happens that doesn't result in positivity. How hard is it to keep the right mentality as a unit here? you got to focus on what you're doing, but the offense isn't scoring. Yeah, I mean, it can be hard at times, but I think it's really important to, you know, not get down on the unit or individual players because um, I think we know that um, if we were the guys that, you know, were missing blocks and, um, you know, stopping us from scoring that, um, you know, we would trust our, you know, our teammates not to, not to kind of look down on us or, um, you know, kind of just have, have those emotions get in the way of what our goal was. So um, it's kind of a next play mentality that, you know, that everything's not going to go your way um, at certain points in the game. You just got to, you know, get up and dust yourself, dust yourself off and go to the next play. Were there, was there something they were doing schematically up front to be better against the run there in the second half? I know it started a little in the second quarter, but really in the second half, there was just something they, they were doing by way of gap assignments or something? That um, no, not a whole lot. There was a little bit more linebacker run through in the second half because we were doing a lot of big schemes on the backside um, and reading that backside linebacker. So um, they started running him through in the A gaps. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't a whole lot. I mean, it was kind of, kind of going in. We knew that they had you know a couple of different answers to different schemes and um, they just turned to a couple of different things in the second half, but nothing that we weren't expecting. What have been your impressions of how the team has rebounded? Yeah. Um, I think we're rebounding well. Um, you know, we know that we have the entire season ahead of us and we're not going to let one loss to find our, our season um, because we still we still have all of our goals in front of us and we still can achieve all those. What has Herbert kind of said to the team or has he kind of grouped everybody together and talked to them since the loss? Uh, it's just kind of been the same message that you know everybody's been preaching. Um, that we just got to dust ourselves off and learn from this um, experience and not let it. We can't let all of them beat us twice going into this week. So that's kind of been the message. Is there like a group chat going on where people are kind of trying to figure out? Okay, we got to focus on week two now, or how does that message get spread? Um, I mean, yeah, through the coaching staff, through first through you know what Co Coach Kristen Ball tells.